Hi, I want to show you how to do mental math with logs, in particular logs for pH. The reason why I'm showing you this is AP, you can't use a calculator on the multiple choice, and there will be some equilibrium questions, some ice tables, where you need to be able to do just easy, fast mental math with logs. So I've written some takeaways here, and I'm going to start the things that I want you to have memorized so that you can do this quickly in your heads. Don't, um, in your head, don't be overwhelmed um, by this. Honestly, there are some easy tricks that you'll be able to do it fast. Um, so, if the value is one and the exponent, uh, then the exponent is the value. Let me put an N there. Then the value, uh, then the exponent is the value. So this one's really easy. Here's an example. When I say value, I mean this number right here. If that's one, then whatever the exponent is, that's your answer. And remember, this is pH pH equals the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 2. So because that's a 1, the minus 2 is your answer. So that's really easy. Um, now, if the number is other than 1, the answer is 1 less than the exponent. So I have a number here. If you have any number other than 1, I have a 6 right here. What you do is you just subtract 1 from this. So at the very least, I could say this. So here's pH. I would say pH is about approximately one. You just go one less than the exponent, done. Okay, you say, oh, it's about a pH of one, somewhere right in there. Um, now, to help you get this decimal place, to get the tens place, um, I want you to have, right now, these three memorized. Okay, so if it's a one right here, the value of one, the exponent's the answer. If, this is really important, there's any number right here other than one, you just subtract one from the exponent and say, oh, it's about that, okay? And you're going to do that at the ones place. Say, oh, it's about a one. Um, now, this is the other one that I want you to have memorized. Um, if the value is three, that's your midpoint for the decimal. If this number right here is a three, so I've got log of three times 10 to the minus two. Well, you always look first at the exponent, go, okay, one less than um, two is one pH of one, and then three is the midpoint when it comes to logs. That's a 0.5. So whenever I see a three right here, I go, oh, I know it's going to be in the tenths place. A tenths place is a 0.5. Um, now, if the number is greater than three, so here I put a four, then that means that decimal place, the tenths place, will be less than the 0.5. It'll be less than this 0.5. So because I have a four here, it's actually less, it's a 0.4. This is an indirect relationship. Um, if the number is less than three, so I put a two right here, then uh, the decimal place, the tenths place will be greater than the 0.5. So I put a two here. So again, I look at that exponent, I got a one less than that, so it'll be, it's going to be a one. And because this is less than three, it goes higher for the decimal, it's going to be a 0.7. Now, why is that? I just want to remind you of a couple of facts on logs. Remember, log is base 10. So it's the exponent that gives the answer because this moves in a factor of 10. That's why we look at the exponent to get the ones place. Um, so for example, negative log of, I just wrote this out, instead of writing one times 10 to the minus two, I put 0.01 equals two. Remember with logs, what it is, that answer is actually the exponent. So um, if I were to do base 10 on each of these, it's 10 to the minus two equals 0.01. I just wanna point out that is the uh, exponent is the decimal place that's important when we're looking at logs because logs are base 10. Um, other thing that I want you to know, concentration and pH are inversely related um, and it's a function of logs. It's because of logs. If I've got a low pH, like a pH of 2, the concentration is high. It's going to be 0.01, 1 times 10 to the minus 2. But if I have a higher pH, a pH of 4, the concentration is smaller. 1 times 10 to the minus 4, which would be 0 0.0001. Um, so they're inversely related. That's why here, if you have a number greater than 3, the tenths place is less than 0.5. If you have a number less than 3, the tenths place is greater than 0.5. Okay, now really, honestly, the best way to learn this is just do a couple of examples. And you'll it will click, you'll get it, and you go, oh yeah, I can do this quick. Um, okay, so let's say that our concentration is 8.3 times 10 to the minus 9. First place I always go is that exponent. Okay, this is base 10, that's what's important. So if I were to write the equation, it would be pH equals the negative log of the 8.3 times 10 to the minus nine. It's this minus nine that I care about. Now that's not a one, it's going to, um, it's the eight 
So that means the pH is one less than this. So pH will equal eight. That at least gets me in the ballpark. Then um, you're going to look at this number. Now I put an 8.3, just wanted to show you. I don't care if it's 8.3457. You are only looking at this. Now that eight is greater than three, which means the decimal on this is going to be less than 0.5. It's going to be below that midpoint. Um, and eight, that's pretty high up. I would maybe say even a one. And it's just because I've done this for a long time. Um, so I'd say, oh, I'm about 8.1, right in there. Now let's do this one. Uh, pH equals the negative log of 2.7 times 10 to the minus 11. Okay, first place I go, exponent. This isn't a one, so I do one less than the 11. So the pH is going to be 10. Again, at least gets me in the ballpark. And then I look at this number, I go, oh, that is less than three. Um, so if it's less than three, that means that this decimal place will be above 0.5. Remember, inversely related goes opposite. So I'd say it's pretty close to three. I'd say maybe like a 0.6. Um, okay, now what if they give you pH? Okay, this is how you do it if they give you pH. Here's your first number. Remember that number, this number here, came from the exponent. If it's not, well, let me show you this. If it's exactly on the money, 7.0, that means that the concentration will be that number to the negative, okay? Um, if it's not exactly 7.0, so I've got that decimal, that 0.2, it means that I have some number right here. Uh, so here's your big, big takeaway. If it's not um, 7.0, if it's not 0 0.0, if it's not a whole number, then you take this number and the exponent is going to be one more. So this would be one, oh, excuse me, let's not put the one quite yet. We'll do times 10 to the minus eight. Because remember, if I go backwards, I have some number here, I see that minus eight, I just go, okay, yeah, one minus eight, it must be about seven. Um, and then I notice that we've got uh, that point two. Okay, so that point two is less than um, the five which means this number right here must be larger, must be larger. So if it's 0.2, I don't know, I would say even maybe like um, a seven, something like that. seven times 10 to the minus eight. The important part is this, it's the exponent because of base 10. That's the important part. So just saying some number times 10 to the minus eight, that gets you in the ballpark. Now let's take this one right here. Um, okay, so I look at this number, pH of three, um, and I'm not exactly 3.0. So this will be times 10 to the minus four. Remember there's one difference right here. Um, when you have that times 10 to the something, it's always going to be one less. Now nine, wow, that's much higher than 0.5. So it must mean that it is going to be a smaller number than three. So I would say maybe like a two, something like that. Now I did look all of these, I did do them on the calculator. I want to compare. Okay, this is just me doing in my head real quick. Let's see, I did these in the calculator. This one would be 8.08. .08. This one would be 10.57. This one would be 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8. And that'd be 1.26 times 10 to the minus 4. So you can see by using those couple of tricks how close it gets you. The really, really important key is the exponent. And the exponent is this one's place right here. Okay, the exponent is going to be that one's place. If you don't have an exact decimal, remember that exponent is going to be, um, just think to yourself, add one more number. And of course, these are all negative. They're all less than one. Um, and here, when you're doing concentrations, you see the exponents. So the one's place is going to be one less than that. That's really, really, really the heart of doing mental math with log space 10 and pH. Um, this doing the decimal, that's just kind of like extra gravy because I've done it for lots of years. Um, but the exponent, that's the heart. Um, you just look at the exponent, go, yeah, one less than that. It's about a pH of eight. You're good to go. Uh, the options in a multiple choice, they'll be different enough that just by doing the exponent, you'll be able to find the right answer. Okay, good work, mental mass, boy, exercising your brain, so proud of you. Um, if you have more questions, on in particular pH, uh, look under the acid-based playlist. Okay, thank you, bye.